Hello guys, welcome to the online ITTutors.com. My name is Asif Ali. In this video, I am going to show you how you can link the combo box with your SQL Server database. I opened this Microsoft Visual Studio and then SQL Server. And here is a table and I inserted many records on this table. I want to display country column values on my combo box. So what I can do, just I need to create the project and then uh, we will run the, use the queries and codes to display country column values on our combo box. So let's start to understand. First of all you need to create the project, go to file, new and project. And then enter the project name as you want to save on your PC. For example I will enter the uh, name demo combo demo and then click OK button after that you need to drag and drop combo box for example I write uh, search combo box here and, and draw, drag and drop then the next step is you need to double click on here and then you need to import the library to use SQL Server queries or um, on this uh, form. So you need to write using system dot data dot SQL client. And then you need to make a connection with Windows Form application to SQL Server. So let's start to create the connection. First of all, you need to write SQL connection and make a object like I enter con and con it is a object if you want to change it you can do it but I use con and then I use again SQL server and I use parentheses and double commas and here is a you need to uh, make a connection with SQL server so first step is you write data source and second step is initial catalog third step is integrated security integrated security is true because I used uh, SQL Server to Windows authentication mode if I use username and password to connect my SQL Server then I use uh, username and password here but I use uh, Windows authentication mode to SQL Server connection portion like this here is a Windows authentication mode if I use SQL authentication portion then I use a username and password because I use Windows authentication mode then I don't need to enter the password or username then I use simply true the first step is data source. Data source is you need to go on SQL Server Connect and copy the server name and then go to your SQL Server, uh, sorry, Visual Studio uh, code portion and paste here. Then the, the next step is initial catalog. Initial catalog means your database name. My database name is tutorials. Here is the tutorials. Then I need to write here tutorials. here is a, a red sign display on this backslash then you need to enter again backslash this red sign is automatically disabled right so we are at connection and uh, we will need to write the another queries or codes to display combo box uh, values first of all you need to write try catch because try catch are helpful to uh, displaying our uh, error then you need to write the cone open I use this cone and uh, open means connection open then I write 
SQL command and make object SQL command again and here is the, you need to write the query to get the specific column values so what I can do I just go to my SQL server and then I write query here select I want to display country values on my combo box so I just select write select and then country this is my column name and here is my employee table name right and then you need to run the query and here is a column values display on our screen then I just copy this query and I go to uh, my skill command and paste here then I use comma and then I call this cone right after that you need to write the SQL data reader data reader and make object to data reader then you need to call data reader here is the call data reader and assign this um, uh, query to have sc dot execute execute reader now the next step is you need to write data table and make object and you call data table columns like this dt dot columns dot add and write the specific column values a specific column name sorry I write country this is my column name and then you need to write type of and use string because this column values are string and then you need to write dt dot load and you need to pass the one parameter you just copy read uh, object and post here then call combo box one dot value member and assign the your database column name and then you again write combo box and data source and assign this dt object copy it and paste here and you need to write finally con close means connection close let's check it to uh, values are display our combo box or not here is a combo box values display on my screen so here is a five records one two three four five and here is a my table values are five so I hope you are understood as well if you have any question about this topic kindly comment me on below section I will uh, uh, I will contact you very soon thank you very much please subscribe my channel and like my videos